friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make this um keychains and you guys these are super easy really quick to make um they're probably going to take you like 15 minutes you only need to know one stitch and it's the um treble crochet um and you're going to need one of these um clasp here and i'm going to link the ones that i got on amazon and it's a pack and i got a bunch of different colors and i have some gold ones and they were not that expensive so my favorite ones are this rose gold they look super cute but um yeah i will link that in the description box so you're only going to need uh, a little bit of cotton yarn here's the um dishy yarn from we crochet and i also made this other one you guys which i really love um i love how this one turned out it's a little stiffer because i made it with the lion brand um rewind yarn i believe and um i have some scraps from this um but i think it's a little hard to find now i don't think you can find it as easily as it was before but i had some left so i made mine with this one and it's a little stiffer you guys i like um, if you have some of this yarn, use this one. Uh, but if not, you can still use the um, any cotton yarn. And this We Crochet um, Dishy yarn is really nice. And I prefer the Dishy yarn, you guys, over like the Lilies and Cream and the other cotton yarns. It's like softer and the colors they have on there are um, much better. So they have a bunch of colors too. So... And then I need to um, finish this one. But yeah, if you have the Rewind yarn, um, you might want to try it with that. If not, you can still use the cotton yarn. It's the same pattern and same hook. So you're going to need your yarn, um, an F hook. Here's, my, here's mine. And then the hardware here and some scissors and a yarn needle and we can get started okay alrighty so I'm going to start with a slip knot however you guys like to do your slip knot okay so once you have your slip knot we're just going to chain 55 so we're going to make 55 chains, right? So I'll do your 55 chains and I will see you back when you have that. Okay, so here I have my 55 chains. And I'm going to make a treble on the fifth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and then this fifth one, I'm going to make a treble crochet and if you're not familiar with a treble it's um, like a um, taller double crochet so we are going to yarn over twice one two so on this fifth one we're going to insert our hook grab the yarn pull up the, um, the yarn once okay so and then we're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two and that is a treble crochet it's just a little taller than a double crochet Okay, so we're gonna do that all the way across you guys. This is how easy this pattern is. So uh, you're gonna make one treble in each stitch across until you end here and that's gonna be the length. Okay. So I'm gonna make a treble once more just in case you're not familiar with it. So we're gonna yarn over twice insert a hook in the next stitch grab your yarn pull up a loop 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and this counts as a um, treble. Okay, one more time, wrap twice. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, so that is pretty much it, you guys. You make a treble all the way across, and once you get here, I will show you how to insert this clasp here which is super easy and um, I'll just show you how to close it and you'll be done okay guys so here I have this other sample that I made um, and I'm gonna show you how once you finish you're just gonna tie up and leave um, a long tail and this is the right side okay and this is how the wrong side looks it looks a little bit different okay but if you want to use this side and you like it go ahead and um leave it like this but i'm just gonna turn it around and i'm going to get my clasp and it doesn't matter what side because this thing turns around so that's really handy and i'm just gonna bunch up a little bit because it's like the class is a little smaller than, but it's okay. You can still get it in there. And then I'm gonna grab the other side and I'm going to um, get those two sides together like that. And then I'm just gonna sew them together with my yarn needle, okay? And I forgot to mention that this is six inches um, long once you fold it. So it should be 12 inches when it's not folded, okay? But you can make it longer if you want or shorter. Just do um, less stitches or more. Depends on what you like. But I thought this was like a great size right here, which is six inches when it's finished. So we're just gonna grab our yarn needle and get our yarn in there okay here we go so I'm just gonna fold those two sides and I'm going to sew them together okay So just try to do it evenly in each stitch across. And you can go like that to see if you're doing every stitch. So there you go, it's closed. And then once it's closed, I'm just gonna um, run my yarn back and forth like this, just so it's like extra secure and nothing falls apart. So there's one time, then I go back to the other in the opposite direction. Okay, and same with this other um, tail from the beginning, you just um, run it through back and forth, okay? Right, so now I'm just gonna finish doing this side and I'm gonna cut the yarn and we are done. 
All right, so now you can just hide this by pulling your um, clasp lower and then you just fold it like that and you are done, you guys. It's so, so easy, so simple. And they look super cute, I think. Um, and they are useful as well. So let me know if you enjoyed this pattern. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And also don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make these. Um, I would love to share them with you guys on my stories. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye!